Will County Sheriff's Department is warning residents about another scam tonight. Scammers are identifying themselves as law enforcement and even threatening jail time. ABC 17's Deborah Kendrick joins us in our Jefferson City newsroom. And Deborah, the Sheriff's Department says this is the third time this year a scam like this has happened. That's right, Marissa. When I asked them the question, they said that last year they had about two similar scams, and this year they've already had three, and it's only May. And I went ahead and asked, you know, why exactly is there an increase in the number of the similar scams? And they told me they really didn't know. Understand that we will not call you and say you have a warrant, you need to come in and pay. We'll come to your house and we'll get you. The Cole County Sheriff's Department is warning county residents of a scam that has found its way back into mid Missouri for the third time. They miss jury duty. Um, they say that they have a warrant for their arrest. Or there's several different things that they try to get the money from individuals. According to Captain Wheeler, the scammers are very specific in what they want. And say, hey, you need to pay us, but you need to pay us on prepaid cards. And, you know, we don't do that. Although catching scammers is tough, the Sheriff's Department told me they're working all different angles to try and catch the people responsible. I think that they work a circuit. I think they start here and they'll move to a different county, and, and as long as people are paying them money, they're going to keep doing it. Now, Cole County Sheriff's Department told me in just two days they've received over a dozen calls. Now, due to the nature of the calls, I asked if the uh, sus or the victims that are being targeted have any kind of criminal background, and the Sheriff's Department told me they don't. It's just randomly selected. So I went ahead and looked at how many scams are currently in the area, and Jefferson City alone has eight active scams. Live in the Jefferson City Newsroom, Deborah Kendrick, ABC 17 News. The Jefferson City Police Department also reported a similar scam within the city.